mambo vipi watu wangu this is WTV na posema kila siku kiona hizi sura you are mona entertainment na leo kwenye entertainment tuko na one of the finest man of god ambaye anahubiri kupitia nyimbo za injili na pia ni mchungaji kwa hivyo tutakwenda sema na yeye na karibu sana mchungaji asante sana kwa wale ambao kujui maybe wangependa kujua tuko na mchungaji yupi ndani ya nyumba leo ni naitwa pastor jackson baraka <laughs> na nimeokoka sana amen yeah. pastor jackson baraka kwa sababu ya muda tutenda mbio unajua imekuwa bahati nimekupata yes. wewe ni mchungaji wewe pia ni mwimbaji unachukulia vipi kufanya kazi hiyo mara mbili mbio mbio ni rais maana ni kitu kimoja mm-hmm. eh, kuimba ni kuhubiri <laughs> na kuhubiri ni kuhubiri ni kuimba <laughs> so unasema kuhubiri ni kuimba na kuimba ni kuhubiri that's it so, so it's the same thing uh-huh. it's not something different uh-huh. i'm not doing two different things uh-huh. so inawezekana uh-huh. yes. maybe pastor baraka ni mchungaji wa kanisa lipi na linapatikana wapi mimi niko sehemu za ngata rongai uh-huh. divine mandate church uh-huh. pale olerai uh-huh. tulikuwa taskis lakini tumehamia pale olerai uh-huh. na tunashukuru mungu Divine Mandate Church Rongai. Yes. Kwa hivyo tutakuja tutatembea pale siku moja. Karibu ni sana. Hebu nikuulize kuna ile swala la kwamba wachungaji wanaingilia katika sanaa ya uimbaji, alafu wanasahau katika jukumu lao la kufanya nini? La kushika huduma. Ama unapata mchunge mwimbaji anaingia katika uchungaji, anasahau jukumu la uimbaji. Sio hivyo vitu viwili unaona nini hutokea na na je, ikifanyika kuna maana ama kuna makosa hapo? Uh, mara ya kwanza eh, mtu akiwa mwimbaji awe mhubiri eh huwa anasema kwamba kwa sababu huyo mtu amekuwa kanisani hapo na mapasi na of course when you listen to pastors you become what they are yeah. and it is very easy kwamba ukajikuta kwamba ule uzito wa, wa uimbaji umekuja chini na ukaanza kushughulikia nafsi ufanyika mara nyingi but pia kuna wale wame maintain wanaweza wakaoimba na bado ni wanaweza wakahubiri wame balance kama mimi ni Mungu amenisaidia ku balance eh, kwa njia nzuri una balance zote kwa njia nzuri na balance kwa njia nzuri kwa sababu kuna watu ambao ni mashabiki wangu wanapenda napoimba lakini kuhubiri bado labda na kuna wale wanapenda tu nikihubiri kuimba bado so wote ni watu ambao nafaa kuwabariki kulingana ni njia hii ama hii lakini ulivyosema ni kweli maana eh, muhubiri anapotoka kwenye maubiri na kwanza kuimba sijaona mara nyingi sio rahisi sana but in case kifanyika ninaona kuna kitu kinafaa kueleweka vizuri maybe kuna kuwa na fall of the church yes inawezekana kwa sababu eh, demand itakuja upande moja na mara nyingi utapata kwamba uko na nafsi za kushughulikia utakuwa msani eh, you know unless yanzi huku kwa alafu inabidi una focus kwa eh? yes unaona sasa utabidi ku, ku kimbia huko na kule so inakuwa challenge yeah. inakuwa. tukizungumzia wewe ni mwimbaji eh, kuna ule wimbo wako watu wanapenda maybe ungepiga tu laini moja a cappella ndio wajue kweli huyu ni pastor baraka ama mchung, eh, mwimbaji baraka ambaye tuko naye amen kuna song inasema niwezeshe mungu wangu wako niwe salama nivukishe ngambo ile Niwe salama. Tamu sana. Ukisikiza hiyo sauti ni sauti yake mchungaji Jackson Baraka ambaye tunasema naye dub ndani ya WTV. E, kumbuka niite MC Chama na hivi ndio tunapofanya. Lakini kabla aondoke mchungaji, e, kuna ile swala la kwamba e, wachungaji unapata mchungaji akona kanisa at the same time anaimba. So inakuwa ni ngumu investment. Investment anashindwa unapata anachukua ile kidogo ambayo ni ya kanisa and invest kwa music. Unaona? So unapata mchungaji ana ana invest kwa mziki sana kuliko huduma. So is it a, a man of God ku invest kwa uimbaji sana kuliko ku invest kwa huduma? Now unapoona mhubiri ana invest kwa kwa uimbaji sana huyo uh-huh. ni mhubaji. Hiyo uh-huh. ndiye ameitiwa sana sana. Uh-huh. <laughs> so an invest pale ambapo so alitoa baby chat ni support system. Uh-huh. Lakini mara nyingi nimesema kwamba ni vyema uh-huh. ku balance. Maana unapoweka watu katika ile msingi ya ku, kuwa baba yao wa kiroho, uh-huh. they expect much from you. Uh-huh. So kama utakuwa una ondoa kule mm-hmm. unayopeleka huku kwa uimbaji kwa usanii unajua kuna uimbaji ya na, na, na singing is part of church <laughs> yeah, yeah. there is no way unaweza kosa kuwa na worship in church yeah, yeah. so itakuwa ni makosa sana kama itakuwa eh, watu wamekosa kuwa na yule baba uh-huh. baba sasa amepotea huku kwa uimbaji uh-huh. ni mtu aje ni, ni kama ni, ni muimbaji tu ni vile sasa aje jielewa aje jielewa concentrate paka awe na uwezo wa ku, ku handle the two the two mantles uh-huh. I, I, I concentrate on one uh-huh. mpaka awe na uwezo kwa handle the two yes right kabisa sivyo tu anaweza concentrate kwa uimbaji kwanza tu kabisa ili ya kwamba wakati atasikia kuna maso za kuhandle zote uh-huh. then he can proceed 
Mm. Inakuwa ni tamu sana. Kwa hivyo pasta baraka uh, jambo lako la mwisho maybe pale eh, kuna mchungaji anakutazama, kuna mwimbaji anakutazama, ujumbe gani uko nao kwa wale ambao wanakutazama? Eh naweza sema ya kwamba eh, uimbaji, mahubiri, hayo yote ni mahubiri. E, bora tu ujue uko na uwezo ama Mungu akupatie uwezo wa kubeba hizo kofia zote kwa vizuri na Mungu anakusaidia don't, don't give up the bible says ya kwamba to him that much is given much is expected yeah. so we cannot limit you because you are a pastor you cannot sing or because you are a singer you cannot be uh, become a pastor so please make sure that you are balancing your ministry and god bless you we love you Thank you, thank you sana for watching. This is WTV. Ah, light a little bit. Lagani kosawa. Wewe kwa clean.